What's up, B-Squad? It is your boy, JB, and we are here today with the last ever review that I'm going to be doing of Basketball Wives. So this is the Basketball Wives Season 10 Reunion Episode 26, guys. Now, before we go ahead and jump into this, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and you guys aren't subscribed yet, then please do me a solid favor and stop taking me out on this date and having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys know the routine. You can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on your post notifications. And with that out of the way, without further ado, let's discuss the reunion of basketball wives, shall we? All right, you guys, so the re before I even get into the reunion, one thing before we get into it. So, if you guys don't didn't see my community post, I'm asking you guys, please, please, please don't ever ask me to review Basketball Wives ever again. If they come back for an 11th season, if they go to another city, don't ask for it. It will not happen. If you ask for it, I'm liable to block you. Just saying. No, I'm not going to block y'all. But yeah, please, guys, don't ask me to review this show again. Like I said, if they go to another city, if, if LA, if Basketball Wives comes back, I'm not interested. Even if they were to get rid of this cast of women and bring in a new batch of women, I'm not interested. It's just, it's not for me anymore. So, um, before the reunion aired tonight, we found out that Duffy is officially leaving the show. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, for me, when I saw that, I was like, I guess you're trying to, you know, this is a sinking ship. So, let me jump off this sinking ship before it actually goes belly under, right? But Duffy is not returning to Basketball Wives, but I don't even know if they've gotten renewed for an 11th season once again. I don't care if they do or don't. We ain't talking about it. So let's go ahead and get into the reunion. So the reunion is hosted by none other than Tamar Braxton, and we have the ladies sitting on the couches, right? I will say that some of the ladies' looks, I was like, what is this more specifically? the criminal and Brooks. I just didn't understand what either one of their looks were. They weren't really given, but hey, it is what it is. Everybody else looked really nice. Duffy was, unfortunately, she didn't make it to the reunion. Duffy said that, you know, she was feeling ill. She was under the weather, so she wasn't at the, um, at the reunion. She was there virtually. So that's really where we are. So the um, so reunion, we pretty much, where do we start up at with the reunion? I, I don't remember because so this video, I don't expect it to be like any length of time because for me, like I said, the reunion, it was just, they could have, could have really moved. They really could have just kind of left this as it is, but I'm glad it was just one episode and, and done, right? They did talk about, um, so British did let it be known that Jennifer, she is not with Jelani. She got a new boo. I don't care who he is. They talked about, you know, um, the criminal and all of her, lega you know, her legal issues, right? So she doesn't have the ankle monitor on. And, you know, Tamar asked her, so, you know, they're saying in the blogs that you got some new charges. So she says that she doesn't have any new charges. And what happened is her attorney didn't respond to the, um, the prosecutor in a timely manner so they wanted to add some additional charges but they didn't so then they were talking about how you know the fact that the blogs talk about her and you know she takes it in stride and they're so proud of her i was like say what now y'all are proud of it okay I, I ain't got nothing else to say about that if they proud of her y'all have some low ass expectations that ain't got nothing to do with me but let's keep going you guys so we can just breeze through this reunion so, we also find out that the producers had invited Malaysia to the reunion, but Malaysia, you know, she declined the offer to come. And honestly, I don't blame Malaysia for not coming to the reunion. So, they then showed a package of Malaysia and they talked about Malaysia quitting, right? So, Brandy feels like, you know, she wished that Malaysia didn't quit. And I'm like, but you are one of the people that had so much to say about Malaysia, you and the criminal, but you wish she didn't quit. Then Brooke was like, well, you know, if this was her only source of um, income, then I want to let these women run me off from the show. 
Well, obviously the girl ain't that bad hung up for money that she left this show. Like y'all were ostracizing that girl. Y'all were making her feel like shit. Jennifer didn't even feel bad about the fact that she brought the girl's house was in foreclosure. I'm like, that was not your business. That was tech. And I, they talk about, but we're, we're on a reality show. So we need to, you know, live out, you know, show our real reality. I get what they're saying in that, in that space. But if she did not feel comfortable bringing that to the show, why did y'all feel the need to bring her to the show? To em- Y'all used it as a way to embarrass Malaysia. And I didn't agree with that, right? But that's neither here nor there, right? So Brandy also felt like they could, you know, them as a group, they could have supported Malaysia. And I'm like, girl, a lot don't care who tell it. Y'all could have supported Malaysia. Girl, get off of, get get off the gas, right? And I love the fact that, you know, Angel said when it came down to it, you know, she saw Malaysia with her friends and she seems like a good person, but she said we didn't create a safe haven for her. I'm like, not you. It's not that you didn't create a safe haven for her. It's not that Jackie didn't create a safe haven for her or even um, Duffy. It was Jennifer, Brandy, Brooke, and the criminal that didn't create a safe haven for her. So... You know, then the criminal was talking about, you know, with Malaysia, she wanted us to only see, like, seem like she walked on water. Girl, if your legal issues hadn't hit the blogs and you had that ankle monitor on your on your ankle, would you have told us what you were going through? It, probably not. So miss me with the bullshit. And I'm so glad that Duffy called Cap. That, Duffy was like, that's Cap. And so, you know, she told them that, you know, basically she reiterated what um, Angel said. We did not make her feel safe to come and be vulnerable with us. So then, you know, Tamar asked them, besides Jackie, who all talks to Malaysia? So, you know, um, Brooke says she reached out to me when my daughter passed away. Duffy made a joke and I talked to her all the time. She says, no, nah, I really don't despite what Brandy might think so then her and Brandy got into a huge argument about that because Brandy's like baby girl I don't care if you are friends with her girl a lot again a lie don't care who tell it you literally call Malaysia your enemy and the fact that Duffy was talking to her so girl a lie don't care who tell it let's pause here and move forward you guys all right you guys so next up they asked a few questions from the viewers they asked Brandy about her family moving to um LA so she's gonna have to go out there to LA because her son is gonna have to have heart surgery so prayers up to Brandy and her family now here's what threw me for a loop when Duffy when Tamar asked Duffy what is the state of her and um Brandy's relationship right and she, she said you know it was very it was it hurt her to be the last person to find out about the issues that's going on with um Brandy's son now, Brandy ain't my favorite person by by no stretch of the imagination, right? But I was with Brandy. It was like, girl, I'm not going to call you when something's going on with my child. Now, could, I mean, I'm, I was with Brandy. And again, I don't typically see it for Brandy, right? So then we talk about the relationship. So, you know, Duffy feels as if Brandy basically treated her like she was just some random ass girl off the streets you know about the whole loyalty thing and you know brandy says that duffy didn't listen to her when she was talking about because she never said she said she didn't talk about iman she never said anything she didn't feel no way about her and i'm like girl you're lying you definitely felt the way about her and malaysia being cool you might not have cared about the post per se but you felt the way about her being buddy buddy with Malaysia. You definitely did talk about her and Iman going to therapy. You brought you mentioned that. So Brandy has some revisionist history going on here, right? So Duffy says that, you know, to bring up my man in therapy, it was very insensitive, right? So Brandy says that, you know, for Duffy to say that she felt like she didn't owe her any loyalty. You know, she just kind of, you know, that kind of went along with some of the things that she had been hearing. Right. So then Brandy says that, you know, um, she was she was told that Duffy had went deeper into why she doesn't owe her any loyalty. And she told it to the criminal. Right. 
see here's the, here is the common denominator a lot of the stuff with brandy and with um duffy it all stems from the fucking criminal so brandy so brandy says that she was told by the criminal that you know duffy says that you know they don't really see each other like that they don't really talk like that they don't really hang out like that so she owes she would owe more loyalty to the criminal than she would to to brandy and the criminal says that she did say that right and i think duffy did say that she did say that but again i don't care i truly don't care you guys so then we move over to Brooke. So we go through Brooke's package only to find out that Brooke has decided to go through with her divorce from her husband, right? And, you know, she's talking about how the fact that her husband was there for her when her daughter passed away. And that's a good thing, right? She says they're still there for each other as friends and family, but their relationship is kaput. I don't, I don't really care, but that's that. We're going to pause here and we're just going to go ahead and wrap this ish on up you guys so next we move over to jackie and Je and jennifer you guys so we, you know tamar asked jackie and jennifer have they talked since filming wrapped on the show they have not right you know jackie was talking about the sisterhood but then she said that her and jennifer are not in the same tax bracket i would imagine not do you have a dual income she is a single woman so i would imagine y'all aren't in the same tax bracket but okay jackie have at that right so jackie then finally admits that you know basically at the fashion show she was fucking with jen right and jennifer then talks about the selling sunset comments so she was like you know what jackie if i hurt your feelings or offended you then i apologize i'm like jennifer that's not an apology you don't start an apology with if she says that she was offended she was hurt apologize just say that right but then jennifer did make a very valid point if your feelings were hurt why didn't you tell me and jackie said because she was upset girl i get being upset but damn you took you were like a dog with a bone when it came to jennifer and you just kept picking 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 with the woman and i was tired of it so Jackie also talking about how she feels like she's a good friend to these ladies. And Brooke was like, girl, a lot don't care who tell it. You ain't nobody's a good friend. So now I'm on Brooke's side in this particular segment, right? Because Brooke's talking about the fact that when her daughter passed away, Jackie didn't send a flower. Jackie didn't do anything. And Jackie said, well, I didn't know what to say. And no one knows what to say in that situation when someone passes away. But if you love this person, if you care about this person, if you're friends with this person, you reach out to them and be like, oh, my God, Brooke, I am so sorry. Or like Brooke said, you could have just came and just sat in silence with me. Let me know that you're there for me. But Jackie is too delusional. Then she started trying to fake cry. I was like, girl, what? I was like, you trying to cry, but you ain't got not one tear in sight. So then she was like, but I got two daughters. Okay, you got two daughters, so put your... I know you can't physically put yourself in her shoes, and I know you can't even in, even imagine what she's going through, but think about if one of your... Well, let's... Let, I am about to say both of your daughters, because I don't know what her relationship is with her daughter, Takari, but let's just say Chantel. If something happened to Chantel, how would you feel? Like, you would be distraught. You would want your friends to rally around you and be there for you. And then when she was backstage... She was still making it about herself. Jackie is crazy and delusional as fuck. So then to wrap up the reunion, you guys, we talked about the hotel room. I don't give a damn. Jackie says she didn't pick the rooms. I don't care who picked the rooms. Jen says that, you know, now here's what blew me. Jen says that none of these ladies would be on the couch if it wasn't for her from Basketball Wise Miami. I was like, oh, so... Your name is Shawnee O'Neal, and you created Basketball Wives? I mean, I guess if you feel that way, I know what she's trying to say. They were the originals, and if it wasn't for the original, if it wasn't for Miami being successful, then L.A. would have never come about. But the way you said it just made it seem as if you, you know, were the creator of this show. So to wrap up this reunion, it was stupid. Jackie looks like a total nutcase and Brandy and Duffy apologize to each other and I 
could not be bothered to give a flying fig new to you guys. That is it for me with this shit. Do not, once again, I will repeat and reiterate, do not ever ask me to review Basketball Wives. Don't leave it in any comments. If y'all know that Basketball Wives is coming up, don't say, JB, we, you can, I, it's a hell to the fucking no. We'll never, ever touch Basketball Wives as long as I am on this earth, you guys. That is it. I hope you guys have a great one, and I will never see you guys again for another Basketball Wives review. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is over. You guys, be blessed. Be safe. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. Well, not wear a mask. Wash your hands. Be blessed. And I'll see you guys never for a Basketball Wives review, but I will see you guys for something else. Bye.